Welcome to Prague in the Czech Republic, and we have now arrived at the business end of the EuroLeague women's season. It's the quarterfinals, and tonight we have Praha taking on Avenida. This is one of the tastiest matchups in the quarterfinals. Both of these fine, fine form, and it is a battle across a three-game series for these two teams for who will take their place at the final four. Game one tonight here in Prague. Game two in Salamanca on Friday. And then if we need a game three, we'll be back here in Prague next Wednesday. That's the 22nd. What a game we have ahead of us, though. Two teams really are at the top of their games at the moment. And remember, this is a replay of the bronze medal game from last season. That night, it was Avenida who came away with the glory and the bronze medal, beating Praha by 12 points. I'm sure the home team here will want revenge for that game in this series. And the form book would probably suggest that they are slight favourites. They do enter with the home court advantage. They finished second in a very tough Group A. Avenida finishing third in an almost equally tough Group B is definitely one of the more interesting of the quarterfinals. As I said, they're all pretty interesting. We've uh, had one result in already. Fenerbahce running away in the fourth quarter on their home floor. They beat Chopron 82 to 62. Chopron now go into that game two on their home floor on Friday. Must win game for them. Well, Fenerbahce will lock in a final four spot. 7.46 left in the game between Chukarova and Borj. Chukarova, a dominant 19-point lead in that one. They look like they're on their way, potentially, to a Game 1 win as well. And then the final game of the night tips off in a little over an hour's time, and that one sees Italian team Schio taking on Spanish team Valencia. As you hear the EuroLeague women anthem ringing out here in Prague, you know we are close to the action. Big 40 minutes of basketball ahead. These are the games that the big players live and breathe for. This is what they love. This is why they sacrifice and work so hard to be a part of nights like this. The crowd are going to play their part in today's game. There's no two ways about that. The crowd here always do. Tonight will certainly be no different. Arena MC introduces the two teams. Avenida as the road team will be introduced first. And you have to say the mid-season arrival of coach Vazquez really reignited Avenida's season. And they come to this quarterfinal on back of winning their final four games of the regular season. And they needed to. It went down to the final game of the regular season for them to book their place here in the quarterfinals. They are the lower seed in this matchup, but it's tough to make an argument for either team to be weaker than the other in this. For Avenida, their success has been built on high efficiency offensively. Third highest field goal percentage this season, 44.6, and they are the best three-point shooting team in the competition, shooting almost 40% from downtown. Mascots ready, the fans are ready. Avenida have been introduced now for Praha. And they know that this season provides them with a real opportunity to claim their second EuroLeague women's title. That will be adding and building on their win in 2015 and their third place medal in 2019. However, one thing that has caused them issues this season has been their short rotation. It has hurt them at times could potentially have an impact again here in this three-game series. What a team they have, some real talent in their 12. The likes of Thomas, Conde, Mac Benley, Brianna Jones, Teo Black, Savlievich. They have some real world-class talent in that Praha roster. Just 
about five minutes away from the opening tip here in Prague. Crowd are hyped, the teams have been introduced, and they will now enter their final warm-ups. They are good to go. Just a reminder, two teams aren't exactly strangers to one another. They have met 15 times in the last 17 years in European competition. Historically, Avenida have the advantage have a 10-5 advantage in the head-to-head -head between these two teams, including having won the last two meetings. to run through their roster a little bit deeper than Praha will. Praha are likely to run seven, maybe eight rotation. And Benita will probably run through to nine. Maybe a big factor in this quick three-game series. Remember, game tonight, a game on Friday, and a game next Wednesday. After that, the travelling commitments for these teams will play its part as well. Teams heading back to their bench for final instructions from their respective coaches. And you have to give a huge amount of credit to the coaches for both Coach Vasquez picking up a team that were struggling and inconsistent halfway through the season and really has put them back on the rails and got them motoring again. Other end of the floor, Coach Heshkova. Well, Coach Heshkova does what Coach Heshkova does and that's win ball games. She has done a phenomenal job once again with this Praha team, bringing together some world-class superstars, getting them to gel and play the Praha style of basketball. Here's the starting five for Avenida Kuzula. Velaro, Carlton, Onuwele, and Fazula. An impressive five, and coming off the bench, Zingarova, Dominguez, and Rodriguez will be the big hitters. Five here for Praha, Mateo Black, Maria Conde. Valadian Bukasavlevich, Alyssa Thomas and Brianna Jones off the bench for them. Violova, Fagvenle, Rachkova will probably fight the most firepower. Both teams will want to get a good start in this game. They want to lock in early. Uh, a quick nod to our officiating crew for today's game. Goran Slivic, Peter Kvach and Nemanja Ninkovic from Austria, Hungary and Serbia respectively. We'll be making sure that everything goes the way that the rule book says it should. A good officiating crew and I'm expecting not to notice them. It's horrible for officials but that is the best games is when the ones you don't notice them being in the game because it's been just a wonderful free-flowing game with no controversy. Moments away from the opening tip, just a reminder, if you want to stay on top of EuroLeague women basketball throughout these quarterfinals and the final fours next month, download the official EuroLeague women app available, Android, iOS, completely free of charge and will bring you so much to your phones, it's unreal including the real-time stats as this one progresses here today.
and we're underway here in Prague. Quarterfinals, game one of a three-game series. Prague will be taking on Avenida. Just an issue with the game clock right now. It doesn't look like the shot clock and game clock are synced. Game clock was moving, shot clock wasn't. This is game one of a three-game series here. EuroLeague Women quarterfinals. Second seed from Group A, Praha taking on the third seed from Group B, Avenida. Both these teams fight it out for a place at the EuroLeague Women Final Four. Crowd are going to play their part as well. Praha clearly with the home court advantage here in this series. They have game one advantage. And then if the game, if the series is taken to three games, we will be back here for game three. And what will be fighting and hustle to get into the top two relates to. And you would not be surprised if this series does go to a game three. Yes, not on the floor, but always playing her part. Dominguez and Rodriguez we have plenty of minutes and have an impact on today's game. Joining us late, we have a little bit of a technical issue with the clock at the moment. That's what we're waiting for the table to sort out. Pretty much ready to go. Shot clock seems to be working, and we're now able to get the game underway. Battle Carlson steps in. And this is the first jumper of the night. Carlson shooting 47% from downtown, so that certainly is a collector's item, an air ball. over the half by O'Black. To Conde. will certainly bring a lot of motivation and hustle to the floor, as will Brianna Jones, averaging almost 17 points a game, and she gets the scoring underway here. Carlton, Fazula, waits for the screen from Fazula. Just a little late. Carlton drives the baseline against Vuka Savlievich. What defense by Vuka Savlievic, though, just sprawling all over Carlton. Offensive rebound, though, for Fazula. Fazula drives inside, hands it off to Fazula. She misses the gimme, gets her own rebound, though. Will go again, gets another rebound. Does she know? She spills it to Alyssa Thomas. Raha looking to put a bit of pace into the game early on. And Black gives it up to Onion Weire. Four on two break. Fazula goes to the little drop step. The miss. Fazula having a tough start to the game. Savlievich is fouled by Carlton. And you would definitely say Praha have the better of the opening 90 seconds. More composure, more confidence. Navanita just trying to find a foothold in the game so far. Luka Savilievich at the free throw line, a 93% free throw shooter, so as close to automatic as you get, the French international. It's the second as well. Wade to Fazula. Conde trying to chase out into the passing lane. Carlton, a short corner two is too short. Brona Jones, her second rebound of the game. Pass inside to Jones, and the easy score again. A very early six point lead here for Praha. The 
Bellaro. Calls for the screen. Uses Fazula. Skips it now to Cazorla. Conde to call for the foul. Sideline possession for Avenida. Half minutes into the game and struggle to find any real strong looks offensively. Maybe Valaro can break that, she can. She had a huge game against Girona to secure this quarter-final berth. Had 13 points and four rebounds, but really was a, an inspirational leader in that game. Andrea Valaro. Thomas draws contact and just goes strong. Lisa Thomas, she's been hit by a feather there. Such body control. Malaro now. Malaro will put the three up. That one's in and out. Long rebound falls to Jones, but it's stolen back by Onion Wade. a lane to attack, she's going to draw a foul instead. I think that one's on Vuka Savlyevich, or was it O'Black? Baseline ball for Avenida. Six and a half minutes left in this first quarter. A bit of a stuttering game so far. Villaro hands it off to Fazula, who spills it a little. Drop step. Jones stays with it. She keeps her far enough away from the hoop to make it a tough shot for Fazula. Defense by Jones. For Savlyevich, short corner two, no good. Rebound falls kindly to Onion Waver. from Onyewere, kicks it to the corner, and Cazola nails the three. That is what Avenida have been doing to teams all season long. Inside to Jones again, and that pass, just almost over the top of the defense, has opened up Avenida three times already today. Every time for Jones to score. Six points, three rebounds for Brianna Jones. Lara, wait for the Fazula screen. Wait long enough though, so it's easy for Vuka Savlyevich to get over the top of the screen. Jones with a fourth rebound of the game. Two on one break. Alyssa Thomas draws the foul. Carlton called for her second foul. And Thomas, a chance of a three point play as Praha ease their way into control of this game. Carlton just caught half of the juggernaut that is Alyssa Thomas. Zola to the bench. As is Carlton and Fazula. Rosingarova, Dominguez and Rodriguez come into the game. Very early wholesale changes there for coach Vazquez. Don't really blame him either. The five on the floor just weren't getting it done. Combination of Rodriguez and Dominguez in the backcourt might help. That'll be an offensive foul on Rosinga Rover. Manhandling Conde in the screen. Sideline ball for Praha. They lead by eight. This is exactly what coach Hedgecova will have wanted. Five minutes into the game. Both ends of the floor, they're executing well. Black hands it off. Gets it back pretty quickly, though. Now inside to Jones. This could be a battle. Jones again to Zingarova. And this is Thomas, though. With that unique jump shot style. Sleep on that jumper. She can hit a reasonable percentage from the mid-range. Jones with another rebound, her fifth of the game already. 
Alyssa Thomas on the spin, draws the foul. Straight back to the free throw line for Thomas. Now the packed in here in the arena. Timeout has been called by Coach Vasquez. No real surprise. His team trail by 10. And struggling to stop Praha on the offensive end. And struggling to get their own off. sure that coach Heshkova and all the fans here in the arena couldn't have asked or even dreamt about a better start to this quarter-final series on paper this was going to be a real battle but the first five minutes or a little over five minutes has gone all the way of the home team so Thomas extends it further she's up to eight points already perfect from the field 11 point lead now for Praha Sorry, uh, Vuka Savljevic knocks it out of bounds. She thinks she was fouled. Officials disagree. It'll be a baseline ball for Avenida. A little over four minutes left now in this first quarter. How can the Spanish team just gain a foothold in the game? How can they just get a little bit of offense rolling? Because at the moment, it has been absolute famine on the offensive end for Zingarova quick cross court past her Rodriguez she skips inside and gets the score smart play by Leonor Rodriguez Conde drives in pulls up doesn't get the score but will be back at the free throw line again and Avenida is struggling to stop Praha getting to the basket, having to foul them almost every time now. Fifth foul of the quarter for Avenida. The penalty. Still uh, well over three and a half minutes left in this first quarter. Conde, the first of her two. Second is good to go. Praha certainly looked different when Conde's on the floor. When she has any time on the bench, they don't have the same steel to the way they play the game. Rodriguez now drives inside. Can't get the score, but will draw the foul. And Rodriguez willing to take the team on her back, try and spark some life into them. The back possessions falling into the hands of Rodriguez to lead. Scores the layup on the first, draws the foul on the second as Boric Kova comes in for Vuka Savljevic. First is good for Rodriguez. Just a 65% free throw shooter though. So much experience in the Spanish League and Cup twice. Foul's going to be called on Alyssa Thomas. She just eases on her way to the floor. That will send on her way to the line. And this is uh, manner from heaven for Avenida as they try and find their way back into this game. Raha holding a very early lead and a strong lead. And we see Cazuela come back in. Game goes for Villaro. Here's 
Zingarova comes back to Dominguez. Rodriguez kicks it to the wing, wide open, and the three ball is good. And that is why Avenida are a threat. They can score and score in a hurry. Straight away, Kazola into the game, nails the three, just like that. Rahas Lee trimmed down to seven, under three to play in the first quarter. Stolen away by Rodriguez. Foul's going to be blown on O'Black. First foul of the game for O'Black. Both teams in the penalty though, so Rodriguez will go all the way to the other end of the floor. Chance to trim this deficit. Update from the other game that was taking place. That one's finished out now. Chukarova coming away with a 28-point win against Bourges on their home floor. So remember, all four game ones taking place tonight. Fenerbahce have beaten Shokron by 20. Chukarova have now beaten Bourges, so they hold on to their home court advantage. We have our game here, Praha against Avenida, and then later on, Skio taking on Valencia. Villalova for options, there's nothing there right now. Shake from Borachkova, jumpers off, and all of a sudden it feels that Avenida have wrestled control of this game away from Praha. They trail by just five now. Dominguez skips it to the corner. Rodriguez inside. Rosinga over with a little old school right hand hook. What a comeback here by Avenida. They trailed by 11. They're now down by just three. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Really had a roller coaster, and we've still got only two minutes of basketball left to play. Thomas running right hand, offensive rebound scooped up by Brianna Jones, though, her seventh rebound of the game, an eight point now as well. So lock it in, double double coming the way of Brianna Jones. She picks up the foul at the other end of the floor. Two. 97% prior to today's game, Silva Dominguez. Now she would love to pick up a fourth EuroLeague Women winner's medal. Although she may need a bigger trophy cabinet, as, uh, she is no stranger to the podium. Three gold medals from the Eurobasket, silver World Cup medal, a bronze World Cup medal, and an Olympic silver medal. You name it, Sylvia Dominguez has done it. Timeout called here on the floor, though. As Coach Heshkova needs to talk things over with her team. They led by 11. Their lead is now just three. With under two minutes to play, let's head into her hub. Jennifer's ready. On the mark. Get set. Basketball as we close out this first quarter. Raha really just came out of the blocks and took complete control of the game. Anita have wrestled it back. It's the Spanish team that have stolen it straight out of the Praha timeout. Not what Coach Heshkova would have wanted. Zingarova, oh, Avenida. 
Dominguez. Inside to Rosinga Rover. She's going to go up against Fag Benley, who's into the game for the first time. Benley holds strong in that first encounter. Bill over. Foul will be called. On Goulby. Thomas to the line for shots. And for Alexa Goulby, that will be maybe at times the only way she can play defense against Alyssa Thomas. Not giving up too much height, but just the power of Thomas might be too much at times for her. Second note, Rosinga Rover grabs the rebound and is fouled by Fag Benley. So we're going to go all the way to the other end of the floor. And Rosinga Rover will have free throws of her own. Jones is going to come into the game for Alyssa Thomas. The trio of Fag Benley, Jones, and Alyssa Thomas are going to rotate round the front court for Praha. Zinger over a 68% free throw shooter. Another night, one of the best bigs in this competition. It's just consistency at times that the Czech Republic International has struggled with. Gets them both to go, though. She goes to the bench for a well-earned rest. Back into the game comes Fazula. Mariela Fazula had a, a little bit of a slow start, a stuttering start to the game. She'll want to try and correct that in the final minute of this first quarter. All over now. To the wing. Inside to Jones. That long pass has really just sliced Avenida's defense in half so many times. Brona Jones up to double digits now, 10 points for her, five from five from the field for the American. Azola back out to Goulby. Goes strong to the basket, but in fact, Benley just tracked that one down. Hand it back to O Black. Had a six-second differential between the quarter clock and the shot clock. O Black to Violova. A little short rebound by Jones and another two points. Rebound number seven for Brianna Jones. Twelve points as well. Shot goes up at the end of the first quarter. In and out for Dominguez. And what a lightning first quarter. Feels like we've had an entire game within that first quarter. Raha getting out to a very strong start. They led by 11 pretty much halfway through that first quarter. But at the end of 10, in Praha 24. Grabbing the first quarter headlines, 12 points, 7 rebounds, perfect from the field, 6 from 6 for her. Alyssa Thomas only just behind her, 9 points and 2 rebounds, 3 from 5 from the free throw line for Alyssa Thomas as well. For Avenida, it's Kazula leading the way, she has 6 points, all coming from downtown. And Rodriguez just behind her with 5 points. That is the play that has caused Avenida the most problem. It's a very simple play, but it's 
given Brianna Jones 12 points in the first quarter alone. They do need to work out how to stop that play. Listen, Thomas with a little elbow jumper. The spark of the comeback for Avenida Rodriguez skipping through the paint to score. A couple of three balls later on, got them back in contention. Second quarter action underway here in Prague. Game one of the three game series of this quarter final of the EuroLeague women. Praha lead this one by six at the end of the first quarter. O'Black to Fag Benley. Comes up short, rebound pulled down by Jones and she gets another score. Ninth rebound for Brianna Jones. She is going to get one of the quickest double-doubles we've seen this season here in EuroLeague women. Zola to Onion Weire. Looks like she travelled with it. Comes up short, Brianna Jones now does have her double-double. 10 rebounds and 14 points in under 11 minutes of game time. Unbelievable from Brianna Jones. Surely that is the quickest double-double of the season. We'll uh, let the Statos jump into that and find that one out. Carlton now goes to the baseline, gets bullied away from the basket. On your way there, goes up against Fag Benley, puts the brakes on. Good footwork by the American. Phenomenal. Stops on the dime and pivots away. No flat. Pulls the foul from On your way there. Second quarter just feels like it's picked up where the first quarter left off. On your way there, picking up her second foul. As we are over, head to the bench. Back in comes with Savlyevic. Change for Avenida as well as Nogic comes in and Rodriguez goes to the bench. Team trying to run their rotations early. Back Benley misses, tries to grab her own rebound, but Carlton just rips it away. <laughs> Sideline possession now for the Spanish team. They trail by eight. Brianna Jones picks up her first foul of the game. Nogic off the glass. It was a smart move for the defense from Luka Savlyevic. Matched the offense from Nogic. Pass is poor. They try and whip it to the weak side. Into the game comes Maria Conde. Vorachkova goes to the bench. Kazula. Kazula. Down to eight now. Carlton jump shot was a fake inside to Fazula. She tries to find any space against Brianna Jones just to get a shot away. She does well to get the shot away, but it was a heavily contested shot. Oh, Luka Savlyevich, my goodness. That is unreal. Almost completely off balance. And still manages to stay with the play. You saw her concentration. Take a focus off the bucket for even a tenth of a second. Kazola. Carlton, quick first step, little wraparound pass to Fazula. Oh, nice spin from Fazula. She is getting no love from the bucket right now. She is 0 from 6 from the field, Mariela Fazula. Averaging over 12 points a game, shooting 64% from the field this season. Having a, a bit of a nightmare night. Conde inside to Jones. Stolen away. Two on one break here for Avenida. On your way, Ray, though, has it knocked away from behind by Fag Benle. A black. 
Sablevich, string music. Just like that, Praha impose themselves on the game again. Their lead is out to 13. Coach Vazquez needs to put a halt to this, calls a timeout. His team have a slow start to the second quarter. Praha coming out with a 9-2 run to start this second quarter. The young Praha fans enjoying themselves, being inspired. Let's head into the huddles, hear what the coaches have to say. Wholesale changes, to be fair, even coach Hikova wanting to keep her team fresh. Thomas back into the game. Fag Benley's gone to the bench. Bazula has also sat down for Avenida as Rosingarova has come in. Dominguez also in. And a nice little shot fake, pulls up. That one's slightly off left. But Avenida grabbed the offensive board and they'll go again. Thomas, long outlet pass, beautiful, wonderful vision from Brianna Thomas. Vuka Savlyevich just leaking out, cheating on the defensive end, and rightfully so. A 15-point lead now for Praha, now spreading this game out. Foul called on Maria Conde. Line possession for Avenida. Offensive foul. Will be called on on your way. They just setting the illegal screen. Just didn't establish yourself early enough. These are the mistakes that cost you so heavily at this stage of the season. She's going to head to the bench on that foul. Laro will come in in her place. This is a big five minutes of basketball now for Avenida. Realistically, they want to be within single digits at the half time. They can't let Praha extend this lead if they have any hope of winning game one of this series. Ingarova pulls in that tough rebound. play and one Dominguez just weaving away to the bucket finding any space she can that's the score chance of the three-point play just look at her reading while the defense is giving her Maria Conde trying to stay on her feet but just toppling over Conde will come out of the game Rochkova comes back in up her third foul. Dominguez can't get the free throw to go. This free throw for Sylvia Dominguez is a uh, collector's item. Jones now, low post. Battling, bullying her way down. Hands it off to Thomas. We'll just shovel it with that left hand off the glass. It has to be one of the best front court duos European basketball, Thomas and Jones. Carlton wide open for three and makes them pay. 
Praha's lead trimmed down to 12. Bill over. Looked like uh, she'd almost fumbled the ball midair, but still connects with the jumper. This game is being played at a real lightning pace. Both teams looking to put some energy into their offenses. Carlton now. Comes back out to Dominguez. Tries inside. Zingarova has to put it up with the shot clock expiring. Valaro gets the offensive rebound and Avenida will slow things down. Nogic. Long two. It's no good. Thomas now to Vrachkova. Pra Praha sensibly slow the game down. Time is on their side right now. Vialova. Pass inside. That was a tough pass by Thomas. Vrachkova now hits the big jumper from the corner pocket. Raha playing on another level. Cool, calm and collected. Boraj Kova, the 23-year-old, drains the three ball. Not the first bucket of the game. Really starting to grow into an important part of this Praha roster. Carlton, long three, is short. Feel that Avenida are just grasping at straws a little right now. They're trying to get that three ball to get them out of jail rather than to use it strategically. Thomas. Oh, what play. Oh, and the finish not there from Villalova. Wonderful use of Thomas as the on ball screen, though. Cazorla drives baseline. Doesn't get the roll, and Avenida. Struggling to get the scoreboard ticking over. Rajkova showboating a little early. Valaro hands it back. Wide open for three. Valaro too heavy. She'll get her own rebound though. And try and zip the pass inside to Razingarova. Out of bounds by Borachkova, so it remains. Avenida ball. the baseline to inbound 17 point lead for Praha a little over two minutes to play Praha have been mighty impressive in this first half Kazola right hand little finger roll off the glass Borachkova sorry Vuka Savlyevich out early Again, just cheating on that defense, leaking out early, and Avenida's transition defense has been nowhere near where it needs to be. They're not chasing hard enough, and you can see the body language from Coach Vasquez. He's not happy. In and out from Rizingarova. Plenty for the Spanish team to work on in that half-time locker room. There's the pass to Jones. Good read by Cazorla this time as she rotates round. Oh, Black, though, steals it away. Thomas looking to go coast to coast. Baseline drive, knocked out of bounds. That will remain Praha ball on the baseline. The Spanish team just don't seem to have the answers right now. The quality of Praha is shining through. Black steps out, final minute of this first half. Lukas Savlyevich, too heavy. Rebound though by Vorachkova. They'll go again. And these are the plays that are making all the difference for Praha right now. Valaro comes back to the top. Dominguez will draw the foul off Vorachkova. That's a veteran play by Dominguez, just luring the 23-year-old Vrachkova in and ripping her arms through, knowing that she can't keep her hands in there. 
30 seconds of this first half. Trying to find a way through, but there's just a green wall in front of her. Access denied. About a two-second differential between the shot clock and the first quarter, uh, the first half game clock. It's out of bounds by Carlton. Still 11 seconds on the shot clock for Praha. Have an either have got fouls to give, so not necessarily a bad foul from Dominguez as long as she doesn't get herself into personal foul trouble. That will mean that Praha can run the clock down now and take the final shot of this first half. Inside to Thomas, throws it up, can't get it. Little tip, no good. That will be the end of the first half here. Game one, quarterfinals of the Euroleague women and the Higher seed getting the job done here in the first 20 minutes of this one. A great performance by Praha. They lead by 17. And it has been transition basketball that's led the way. They've got out and run. They've stretched Avenida every opportunity they've had. And although Avenida have been tough and they've tried to fight their way back into the game, every time they've got close. Praha have just stretched things out and pushed and applied pressure. Javanita just haven't been able to react to effectively. Over the stats from the first half, Praha dominating the rebounding battle. 12 assists for their 45 points as well. Coach Heikova will be happy with that. But at the half here in Prague, it's Praha 45, Avenida 28. Second half action coming up shortly.
Welcome back to Prague in the Czech Republic. We are halfway through game one of this EuroLeague Women's quarterfinal between Praha and Avenida. And my goodness me, I don't think many people saw it going this way. Praha ultimately dominant in this first 20 minutes of basketball. They lead by 17 points at the half. Remember, Avenida entered this quarterfinal looking pretty good to say the least they've won their last four games of the regular season after a bit of a patchy middle run of games the arrival of coach vasquez seems to have turned things around but they have come up against a mighty mighty praha team here today led by brianna jones she's already got a double double she did that in 11 minutes 14 points 11 rebounds for her two other players also in double digits as thomas and buka Savlievich have 11 points apiece. As for Avenida, no one in double digits as of yet. Mighty Cazorla has eight points, but they really are struggling to get their offense firing, particularly in that second quarter, as Praha held them to just nine points in that second period. A little under two minutes to go until the start of the second half. And big ask now for coach Vazquez get his team on track for coach Hikova. Hikova, she knows that her team have got one hand on that game one win, but also complacency could cost her team greatly. But you know, coach Hikova has uh, been there, done that enough times to know how to get the job done, how to close these games out. It really is ball in the court of Avenida for them to come and disrupt this second half. So we're over 40 seconds left on the half-time clock, so we have to wait for that to close out before we get our second half underway. But it does give me that opportunity to remind you to get your phones out. Download the official. EuroLeague Women app. Pretty sure that everyone in the arena has that gentleman there in the background. That's what he's on now. I'm guaranteeing you that. So make sure you download it. Plenty on there. Worthwhile to download. And here in the arena, continue to uh, add to the atmosphere and cheer this. underway here in Prague 20 minutes in the book of game one of this Euroleague women quarter-final and it's Praha that lead 45 to 28 over Avenida Pazula back to Valaro quick perimeter ball movement here for Avenida Guido though in and out with her three ball oh black gets it batted away by Pazula Ball for Praha. Conley now. To o Black being guarded closely by Kazorla. Rebound batted by Carlton and Onion Wayre brings it down. Five starting the half for Avenida. Kazorla, Onion Wayre, Valaro, Carlton, and Fazula. Hold on to possession. Out of bounds again by Jones. On the floor for Praha is O'Black, Conde, Vuka Savlievich, Thomas, and Brianna Jones. Offensive foul is going to be called as Fazula hadn't set herself on that screen and she caught a leg of Alyssa Thomas and Fazula's having a bit of a night to forget right now. Really struggling to get to the tempo of the game. Just 
her first foul, but she's 0 from 6 from the field, Mariella Fazula. Stolen away, though. Good read by Carlton. Nice pass inside. Fazula double teamed and loses the ball again. Another turnover for Fazula. Better transition defense from Avenida, though. That's where Praha really hit them in the first half. Zola to inbound on the baseline for Avenida. Pilaro, a short jumper is off left. 90 seconds gone and neither team yet to score here in the second half. Elbow jumper from Conde, she rattles it home. Conde, four points now, her first field goal of the game. Over 11 points a game, Conde. Zola. It's the mismatch that she wanted, but struggled to get set for that jumper. A much harder shot to take. Conde gets through the double team, but. Thomas has it ripped away by Onyemwere. Bellaro now. Zola for three, that's a big shot. That is exactly what Avenida need. Live by the three this season. It needs to turn up now as Kozola, first Avenida player to get to double digits. Six from the field for Kazula. Jones too strong for Kazula. Basket good. Jones will go to the line for the three point play. Back now, shot was on the floor, so the uh, foul was on the floor, so it'll be a sideline possession. Basket not good. Conde now. Splits the defense. Oh, behind the pack from Maria Conde. It's knocked to the floor by Onion Weire. Could be a turnover for Praha. to drive to the basket. Carlton will try and go again for Kova Has to step back. That is a tough shot from Carlton. A little one-footed step back jumper. Does it look easy though. Savlevich into Jones. Oh Black, catch and shoot. Three ball is good. Teo Black. First field goal of the game. And let her off though, she's already got seven assists today. Martin will be a bit more physical with Vorachkova. Heavy with the jumper this time. With the Savlyevich, fakes the three. Have to come out. Jones with the three. In and out, and Carlton will scoop up the rebound. On the third board of the game. Zola slows things down, waits for the Horns offense to set up. Valaro now. Valaro for three is heavy. On Nguere grabs the rebound though. Shot clock violation as that three did not catch the rim. 
Amanita's body language does not look good right now. Dominguez has come into the game. Zazula has headed to the bench. Mazinga Rovers also come in as Pazula's headed out. Amanita need to make a change. They need to change the flow of the game. But Black hands it off to Jones. She's rejected. Foul's going to be called though on on your way to be, be her fourth foul. Send Jones to the free throw line. That is a problem now for Coach Vasquez. Four personal fouls on on your way today. Three year old has struggled to get to the tempo of the game. First experience of the quarterfinals of Euroleague women. A little over five minutes left in the third quarter. Jones at the line for free throws. Another dominant display from Brianna Jones. Three double doubles prior to tonight. Make that four now. Without a shadow of a doubt, her fastest double double of the season as it took less than 11 minutes. Dominguez uses Rosinga over screen well. Short with the jumper though, and Avenida just lacking confidence. Nice outlet pass to Thomas in the easy two, and that is Praha at its finest. Get out early, get out and run, stretch your legs and stretch the floor. That's where a lot of Praha's points have come from. Rodriguez now being guarded by Vrachkova. Carlton way downtown, rattles at home though. That is what Avenida have. They do have shooters in the team. Jones, elbow jumper, in and out, rebound by Carlton. 18 point lead for Praha. A little over 14 minutes left in this game. Zingarova trying to bully away against Thomas, not the easiest task. She's going to draw the foul though. Play of the three ball from Carlton. That is a long way out for the Canadian. Rattles it home though. It's her tally to eight points alongside four rebounds. Timeout's been called by Coach Vasquez. He's heading to his hub. Speed. Judges ready. Jokers ready. On your mark. Get set. She's got plenty of vets on her team, though, to lead that composure. Ingerova nailed both from the free throw line. And if Avenida do stand a chance of getting back into this game, it's those kind of plays that will edge them back in. Jones down low. Sea of blue in front of her. That's a poor pass. Dominguez isn't going to hold on to that. Turnover for Avenida in front of that Praha bench. Maybe we'll see.
see her in the Praha jersey in the future, leading the team to European glory. Benley come back into the game as Jones takes a well-earned break. Thomas now brings it up over the half. Nice backdoor cut by O'Black. Oh my goodness, that is a tough finish. She has to go high off the glass to get it over the defence. Wait for the screen from Mazinga Rover. Not the mismatch that she wanted. They've switched back though. Oh, that is a smart play by Rodriguez. Just timing her cut to perfection. 16 point lead for Praha now. Like Ben Lake for three. That's short. Rebound Thomas and a smart pass inside to Vuka Savlyevich who takes herself to 13 points. Picks up her second, sorry, third assist of the game. Dominguez. Pass inside to Rosinga Rover. Foul's going to be called on Fagbenle. He's not happy that there was uh, no call the other way. Here's a pass from Thomas, though. What Praha have been doing all night. Praha, one of those teams that haven't made huge personnel changes throughout the season. In fact, Benley came in at the quarter of the way through the regular season. It's going to be an offensive foul on Rosinga Rover. This is part of the strength of Praha. They know each other. Working together all season. Nikova has got them in a well oiled machine at the moment, and that is paying off. They lead by 18 here, game one of the three game series. And just as I say that, O'Black throws it out of bounds. Miscommunication. I apologize to all the Praha half fans, but I certainly jinxed you on that one. To Zorla now, bringing it up over the half. Over being an absolute nuisance. A violation called by Boric Kova and uh, knocked it over at the half. But Vasquez not happy. He's been uh, given a technical foul as well. Technical foul though, Cole on coach Vazquez for complaining about the official's call. Luka Savlevich will head to the free throw line for this bonus. No surprises really that she hits the free throw. 14 points now for Valerian Luka Savlevich. Alongside three rebounds and three assists and very efficient 14 points as well. 5 and 7 from the field. Black turns the corner, but the rotation comes round with the double team. Oh, Black for three. Too heavy. Rebound. Vorach Kobe, you have to tip your hat to the 23 year old. She's really come in and done a, a hell of a job in the minute she's been given. Luka Savlyevic in and out. Kazola with the long rebound for Avenida. Dominguez running left hand comes up short and the wheels are falling off Avenida's offense at the moment. A little over 90 seconds left in the quarter. Carlton called for the foul. Avenida in the penalty, so that will send the 90 plus percent free throw shooter, Lucas Savlyevic, back to the free throw line. Avenida looking at the team they have over the last few weeks of the regular season, looking buoyant and confident. That last
last game of the regular season where they saw away Girona, knocking Girona out of EuroLeague women this season. Need have come up against a different beast here today. And Praha, uh, sorry, yeah, Praha. Team on form, a real cohesive unit of a team under some very, very good coaching from Coach Heiko. Zazorlin finds a gap, splits the defense, can't get the three-point play, but has on a trip to the free-throw line. Either way, however, Praha's lead is at 21 now. That is a game-high lead. It's all the way back to the last minute or so of the first quarter where really Avenida were anywhere near touching distance. Avenida have not led this game. The game has been led pretty much from start to finish by Praha. This is the second. Point lead now for Praha. Oh, Black. Inside to Fag Benle. Oh, lovely play by Fag Benle. Hands it off to Jones. He gets the easy score. All the hard work done by the Great Britain international, though. Rodriguez, no look to Razinga over. do need to keep the scoreboard ticking over even if their chances of securing a game one win in this series are slim want to gain some confidence and momentum to take into game two on friday short range jumper is good for praha black stepping in taking her personal tally to seven now alongside nine assists Player well on her way to a double double. Zola. Nice the space. Rodriguez inside off the glass. Rodriguez really has provided a, a bit of a spark tonight for Avenida. She's up to nine points now, outside four assists. Black skips it. Borach Kova's wide open but off target with that jumper. And that will be the end of the third quarter. And another quarter dominated, really, by Praha. They only won it by three points, but they didn't seem to be out of control at any stage. Ten minutes left on the clock. It's Praha 65. for Praha now is all Friday's second game in this series but they have to manage this game they have to close out this win they lead by 20 the logic would suggest they are well on their way Picking up the win, but Benita. Takes a two, three minute purple patch of perimeter shooting, and Avenida will be right back into this game. Underway, 
Game one of this quarterfinal series in the EuroLeague women. Ten minutes left to play. Praha lead this one by 20. Conde, nice little hesitation on the dribble. Soft right hand extends Praha's lead even further. Rodriguez backs it out to run up that Borac Kovalev. 23 year old is all over it defensively. Kazola, little soft right hand in flow to Rozinga Rover with the offensive glass. And Rozinga Rover's really stepped up in today's game. She's doing what she can. 10 points now for the big alongside six rebounds. Be all over. Leaves Jones. Jones back out. Team will drop down onto Jones. Step through, hand it away. Shot clock to four. Like ben Lake, Jones, long two is short. Rebound for Carlton. A Praha fan, really just watching the clock tick down right now. First minute out of the way. A little over eight and a half minutes on the game clock for them to manage. Rodriguez comes up short. The rebounding battle is fierce. And that will be Praha possession as Gulbi to out muscle Fagbenle. The young fans here in the stands are certainly enjoying the night, and so they should be. Their team have looked imperious at times in today's game. Little sidestep, Conde putting a bit of flavour onto the floor. Love the footwork from Maria Conde. Pass inside to Azingaroba. Oh, the defence looked good, but the foul's called on Jones. Pass inside to Azingaroba was a thing of beauty. Garova heading to the free throw line. Borachkova heads to the bench. Three points, three rebounds. And he hustle plays as well. Garova hits the first of her two. Second Avenida player to get to double digits. 11 points now for her. This is the second, though. 21-point lead for Praha. Benley, what about the long two? Doesn't take it, drives at the bucket instead. Doesn't get the luck of the roll, but they do get the offensive rebound. Bialova hits the three on the wing. And everything is going the way of Praha right now. Now putting a clinic on, and this will send a message out to the rest of the field. Another offensive foul called was Ingaroba. Eagle screen again from her. Avenida's chances of picking up a road win. Shot road win. Fast falling apart right now. Savlevich comes back in. Seven minutes left in the game. 24 point lead now for the home team. Conde catch and shoot. High rebound pulled down by Dominguez. Rodriguez will back it out. Wait for the screen from Fazula. Thrown away, draw one break, Conde full flow, hands it off. High layup from Vuka Savlovic is way off target. A rare mistake from the French international. Thrown away. Knocked away by Vuka Savlovic according to the officials. It will be Avenida Ball. Complaints by coach. Kova and her brain trust. Right, 
behind the play there. Or in fact, it does look like Coach Cobra is going to challenge this. He's going to use a coach's challenge. The team may have a 24-point lead, but Coach Cobra wants to push on and seal out this win. And it's not just necessarily about the win, it's about how much confidence and psychological dominance you have over your opponents. It's Conde's little right-hand runner. You do wonder of Praha bringing all the pieces together at the right time, really starting to find a way to get wins. They've won four of their last five games in the regular season. Their only loss was here on this floor against Panabache. They only lost that by seven, and bear in mind, Panabache closed out the regular season with a 12-game winning streak and are the favourites to take the whole competition. Enjoying themselves. To see travelling fans cheering on the team from Salamanca as well. Officials have ruled that it did come off an Avenida hand, so it will be for our half possession on the sidelines. What the coach's challenge is there for, namely the coach to make one challenge of a call during the game. Hikova's challenge has now been used up. Vazquez still has his available. That's it away. Good defense by Gulby. Jasinski gets her first taste of the action. All inbound to Fagben. Jasinski. up short with the jumper. Six minutes to play. Praha in control of this one. Surprisingly so as well. Dominguez comes all the way through. Rodriguez waits for the Fazula screen to chase out the head drop. Like Benle is tough. Rodriguez is tougher. Now's a contested jumper. Hopping a little bit there. Floor on the last defensive possession. Picked up a little bit of a knock. Now, Hesitation skips to the corner. Conde will drive the baseline, scoops the shot, but unbelievably gets it back. Benita, though, with possession. Every player in green has stepped their game up today. Dolby is going to be fouled on a way through. <laughs> Team foul of the quarter for Praha. Real foul concerns for them. Sideline possession for Avenida as Dolby goes to the bench and Onyanwele comes in. Rodriguez. Dominguez. Oh, three ball from Dominguez. And to be honest, it's Avenida's only real chance of fighting back into this game is leaning heavy into the three ball. Go early and go from distance. Back Benle. Can't get the score though. Good. Hustle back by Fazula. Carlton now to Fazula. Rodriguez for three. Rebound falls eventually to Pag Benle. Praha will bring it up over the half. Now game management now for the home team. Savlyevich. Target with the jumper. I think she was fouled. The officials don't agree with her. Rodriguez now. 
find on your way around the low post. Oh, lovely little hesitation, but once again, Avenida finishing close to the basket. There's a lot to be desired. Cannot get away with that lack of efficiency at this stage of the season. Jasinski, no good. Rebound gets batted back to her, though, and she'll go again. Side to Fag Benley, offensive foul will be called, though, as she just eases Carlton out of the way. Line possession for Avenida. Three and a half minutes to play, a 22 point lead for Praha. They have been nothing but impressed by Praha here today their day they really are world class and if they can have a few more of their days over the next week or so then they will be in the final four so if they can put some of these performances to the final four a little bet against them being on the top step of the podium lifting the trophy all over harassed now by Nogic passes it to Conde Shot clock to four, Conde inside, big step through and gets the score. That is just hustle from Conde. Look at the smiles on the bench from Jones and Thomas. Certainly enjoying their rest. They normally don't get pretty much any rests throughout the uh, game. Thomas playing over 36 minutes a game. Brianna Jones over 31. Foul called. On your way, Ray made the layup, so a chance of a three point play here for Avenida. See the play. Nice little pass inside from Fazula. Way Ray gets the score. Head to the free throw line for shots as well. Doesn't convert the three point play, and it's those kind of situations that have been so, so costly for Avenida today. Just 11 from 16 from the free throw line, 12 from 14 for Praha. It's uh, one of the differences, just the killer efficiency that Praha have had in today's game. Turn her over, turns it over. 22 year old just steps out of bounds. and the uh, thought process of both Coach Kova for Praha and Coach Vazquez for Avenida will be moving quickly towards Friday's game in Salamanca. Game two, looks like it's going to become a must-win game for Avenida. We see Fazula just keeping battling away and she's had a tough night here. This is her second bucket of the game, two from eight from the field for her. Coaches will now be thinking about that fight in Salamanca. That 40 minutes that we've got to bring together for Praha. 40 minutes to lock themselves into a final four spot for Avenida and their fans that we see there. 40 minutes to keep their season alive here in European competition. Pass inside to Conde. She's double teamed down low. Pass is deflected away. Eventually, Fazula scoops it up off the hardwood. Rodriguez. To Valaro, who will back it out to take a run. Zizinski. The prayer up as the shot clock expires. Get some iron, but Conde picks up the rebound. for three. Oh, that's a big shot, Maria Conde. Thirteen points now for Conde. Assist of the game for Abraham. Rodriguez gets the door closed on her. 21-point lead for Praha. 
And you have to love the fact that Praha not back down for a second. They continue to push, they continue to fight. They may be leading, they may be a little over 30 seconds away from securing this game one win here in the quarterfinals. Not stepping back from this at all. Second time, Valaro now to Nogic. Nogic will come back out to Rodriguez for three. Kind of sums up Avenida's night. It just hasn't gone their way, and this is going to be a big game one win here for Praha on their home floor. They are now potentially just one game away from locking in a final four spot, and it it really has been a lot simpler than many would have thought. The final score here in Prague is Praha 77, Avenida 56. Back to the drawing board for Coach Vasquez and Avenida. They have a lot of work to do over the next couple of days before they enter game two on Friday back in Salamanca on their home floor because this Praha team, they are not to be messed with. Coach Dominguez leaning into uh, decades of experience. Trying to give her team some insight, trying to start that process of rebuilding. Sabliovich, a child to enjoy the adulation of the fans here in the arena and they've played their part here as they always do in Prague, the fans bring the noise every game, certainly lifts the team, what a performance from Praha, some big individual performances as well, leading the way, Brianna Jones, 18 points, 13 rebounds, two assists and two steals. Just behind her, Buka Savlevich ended up with 16 points, five boards, three assists. Also in double digits was Alyssa Thomas and Maria Conde, both who had 13 points. But Avenida, three players in double digits. Cazorla, their top scorer with 12. Rodriguez, Rosinga Rover with 11 apiece. Rosinga Rover also with six rebounds. But just a few days until we get back to the action in this three-game series in this EuroLeague Women quarterfinal. That will be on Spanish soil. We will be in Salamanca for the second game in this series. What is now a must-win game for Avenida. And what potentially is the key to the final four for Praha. What a game we've had here in Prague, though. The home team dominant pretty much from start to finish. Here are some of the highlights from today's game. But the final score here is Praha 77, Avenida 56. Remember, all four of the quarterfinals got underway this evening. Fenerbahce picked up a 20-point win against Chopron. Chukarova picked up a very impressive 28-point win against Woj. Whilst here we have the 11 point win for Praha. And then the final game is still in progress. A little under a minute left in the first half. Skio lead Valencia by five in that one. The second game in all of those series will take place this Friday. Chopron against Fenerbahce, 6 p.m. local time. Valencia Skio, 7 p.m. local time. Borges versus Chukarova, 8 p.m. local time and Avenida against Praha, 8.30 p.m. local time. Make sure you tune back in, follow all of the EuroLeague Women social media channels. That will keep you up to date with everything that's happening. Thank you so much for joining me here. The final score, Praha 77, Avenida 56.